Hi, this is KGM Jam, owner of Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com and join for free today. Uh, this is the newest video from J Kill XRP. Uh, he got some new ones, it looks like, from Terra Virtua. This is, uh, well, you have to just go check it out. But you get uh, one of the basic guys for free when you join. And this is like uh, the, the basic guy, but added stuff onto that they put out every now and then. And looks like he got some. It's called Ancient Warriors of Mother Nature. Congratulations. And uh, if you get a chance, go over and check out his videos. He has a lot of fun with them and is sh definitely showing what you can do with them. He also got a uh, a new one of the on Vivi today from uh, the James Bond, the, the spaceship or the jet, whatever that is. And he's got it out at the airport. It's really cool. Um, I grabbed two Warlord of Mar director cuts. First appearance was 1941, so I grabbed a number 41, and I also grabbed or gripped number 100 of 100. Now, this goes on my list that the different ways to collect. That's what I mean about all the different ways is people are going to make up their own. And you're going to have people like this, 1941. So he bought 41. I, I see where he's going with that. And But 100 of 100. There will be people who just want to collect the last one in every set. It's whatever you want, and it's all good, and it's it's great. And go check him out. I, I love his videos. I'm starting to catch up on him. He's putting out one or two a day now. As he, There's been so many drops in the last few days. Um, the VV has gone up, and I think it's because of all the drops the last couple of days. But back here in September of 18th, the mid-September, it was at almost 400,000. Now it's all the way to 310, so about 90,000 it's gained. And it's heading upwards. Um, I don't know what caused the die-off in traffic. Uh, to put in perspective, my store, uh, Pro Advertisers Club, is at almost 500,000. It, it, it jumps between 390, 500. I don't have that much traffic, but that's what I rank. So uh, the, the point I'm trying to make is that once you get past – 400,000, it really drops off. You don't need much traffic to qualify for the Alexa ranking for traffic because everybody thinks, well, the internet's been around for so long now that everybody's online. No, it's actually the exact opposite. There's, It's a very small percentage that is not just online, but even less that is successful at it. And of course, you know, Vivi's going to be one of them. And, um, so yeah, there's still a lot of room, and and don't forget, out of three, three hundred ten thousand sites, uh, somebody might own more than one site. So so you're talking less than two hundred thousand people own high traffic sites on the internet in the world, out of a what eight billion people. So there's plenty of room if you're ever thinking of getting online and can figure it out. That's the key thing, is and that's what I've been trying to do the last couple of years is how can you make money online? And of course, NFTs is one of them. Um, let's take a break here and do my free pack of the day at Upper Deck E Pack. Let's see what I got. I think I already have that one, but it's not an insert or nothing. But that's all I got. So let's check out the uh, crypto is up today, just like it was yesterday. Bitcoin's gone down a little bit in the last hour. But um, if it could just keep going up. This Tezos, I, I, the more I learn about it, the more I'm going to tell you. Uh, Solano is doing real well because of the NFTs. Cardano is supposed to be going to be doing real well as soon as they get that smart contract. And it's starting to come up, so they must be doing something right. But when they first came out, there was kind of a dud. Uh, they had built it up so much, but uh, they, they had some problems. Expect it, but they're fixing it. Ethereum is uh, going to be, you know, they're big on NFTs, but they still got to get those rates down. They got to get the gas fees down and they're working on it by December. That should be taken care of, but nobody Tezos like a sleeper flying under the, the radar 27 on this site, probably higher at, at coin gecko. But, um, I think the NFTs, if, 
if you have any kind of accounts on um, Facebook or any of the other platforms, you see a whole lot of Tezo NFT ads. And I don't know if they're selling them or they're just advertising them, but uh, keep an eye on Tezos. That's the heads up for that. Uh, so let's go check out a Comey. Comey's up 10% in the last week at 50%. And I've got that. Where is it at? Oh, my token. I should have put that right there. The uh, 500 million burnt in the last 48 hours. Okay. Because it was 14 billion and 100 million, 180 yesterday. So uh, like I've been telling everybody, the, the simplest way to explain it is the more they burn or, or the higher the price of OMI gets, the less they'll have to burn, which is why they'll never get to the 750 billion. There's only supposed to be ever 750 billion. And I could be wrong. I've, that's what I've read. And you know how things are always changing. But that's as of right now, 750 billion. And in their first year, it looks like they're going to burn about 20 billion. Okay. So even if they weren't doing the deflationary burning thing, it would last quite a few years. But don't forget, that's if they only do 20 billion a year. VV is going to get busier and busier, and the prices are going to go higher. And the, and they're going to burn more. So next year maybe they do fifty billion, and then the, you know. But here's the thing: the higher the price OMI goes, the less they'll burn. That's the only way this will work. So this is this is good proof that the system is set up anyway to only work if OMI goes up, which is good news if you're an OMI holder. I am, I am not yet, but I will be once it gets on the platform. Uh, over here, maybe some news. You probably heard about it. The Kozik Labbit Secret Rare. Okay, that did not drop today with the rest of the set. The minted allocation will go to people affected by the Gemgate issue recently. They will be in the store but won't be purchasable until they appear on the secondary market. So um, I guess everybody who got messed up in that Gemgate, if you, I don't know much about it, but I guess Vivi messed up and they're making it good by giving people these secret rares who got involved in it is what it sounds like. So good news. Hats off to VV for doing that. And um, I, I, I don't know if this is the secret rare. It's like a poster or what it is. We'll find out when it drops and you'll be able to see it. And here's some people messing with the new, uh, you know, not my thing. I'm a comic book guy, but uh, again, it's welcome to the, welcome to the uh, VV platform or it's a second series. So they've already been here for one. So there we go. Um, what do we got over here? VV, oh, eBay, if it will pop up. Okay, today, good day for VV on eBay. Those who, who are selling. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Six sold. These, um, the story on these is uh, people in Japan and China, I think, can't buy them for whatever reason. So uh, if you got some of these, hang on to them. Uh, so may, I don't know who bought those, but uh, they sold them on eBay. And Back to the Future went, and this thing went, and Batgirl went, and Sam Wilson went. Um, if you don't know about it, you can – What what the way they're doing this is – and I don't know how that works with as far as the, you know, VV uh, – but what they're doing is they put them on eBay and then you got to sit, then they'll transfer it over to you once they get the cash. Okay. And, and maybe VV ain't worrying about it right now because um, they know there's no way for you to get your cash out. And they're like looking the other way. I don't know. Or maybe they do because I haven't done it. Buyer must have a VV account and provide username and QR code after purchase. So it's possible if you have to have the cash, you can sell it now, but they have to have their own VV account, okay? Terra Virtua, the, the Vampirilla Zero, the first one resold. And remember, we got these for free if you ordered with, if you bought within 48 hours the Vampirilla, any of the Vampirilla comics. And they sold it for a whopping $50. And there's only 363 of them that only, only, 363 items were sold in the 48 hours, which is mind blowing. 
and there's only in some of the series a hundred and others are a thousand but so there's only ever going to be 363 of these comics and vampirilla is a very popular all the way since the 70s so not only does it have a young fan base it has a very old fan base and she has been selling out her comics every month at dynamite i mean recent months like last this month last month well not this month just started uh they had to reprint a second print for last month's run in fact that's how popular vampirilla is and they let it go for 50 bucks kudos to the person who got this they made out and this this was really nice for them to let it go for that uh i would have at least got a hundred to cover well maybe they got it for buying the six dollar comment or maybe they all they spent and but whatever it's good for everybody this person sold it and this person got it, got it for a really good price, number 242. So there, there's now 362 that have not been sold yet. Uh, and, and so that's the way they're going to do it here. They're, you'll see the highest sale price. So no matter where they sell it at, uh, here, open C, then you you can tell, well, it went for you know $5,000 eventually, which I believe this will be in that there's only 363 of them. But um, get over here because in the marketplace, there's still issues left of Warlord of Mars, Red Sonya. That sold out immediately, the 100-item one. Uh, there's some bad boys left. The Red Sonya unanimated covers left. There's a thousand of those, but there's like six comics in that. The Bad Boys, that's a TV TV show. Uh, uh, but these are all, that's all done. Only made 363. And uh, yeah, so there's still some left. This one's sold out. Uh, but here's the Vampirilla comic for $6.99 and the Red Sonya comic for $6.99. And the, I'd get one of each, you know, start collecting these because these are, these are thousand printed. That's less than what Vivi's doing with Marvel. And these are all uh, dy dynamite comics, but they're still got a serious fan base and will be worth big money. I don't think a lot of people know about this at all. Still, um, their next drop is four days and it's going to be some kind of artwork. Uh, I'm not going to go into it, uh, but I'm, I messed up on this last drop. It totally caught me by surprise. I got lucky because I got over there at 910. So I missed the number one, but I got like number 10 out of 100. So I was happy. Okay, now the the market, the uh, VV auction. There's this is an older uh, May twelfth, but when I was looking through the uh, auction, I noticed a guy named Gator. Y'all probably noticed him, and it was right around the time of the Avengers drop. Okay, he was overbidding on on the secret rares, on the ultra rares, by like 10 times. He was locking it up. Nobody was going to outbid him. So the question me and a buddy was talking about was, well, what happens when he wins? Because he's going to win. Because you can get it cheaper in the store. So more than likely, he's not going to pay. Now, you can go into why he was doing that or she, who knows. We don't know who it is. It was a private account. But the point I'm trying to make is, what was the consequences if he did not pay? Uh, they close his account, maybe kick him off. He just opens up another one, whatever. But they're going to change it to where you have to, every time you bid, you're going to have to commit $10, okay? 10 gems, $10 into an escrow. You get it back once, once you either lose the auction or you win it and pay for it within 24 hours. That's That's a better direction to go, at least... Because he bid on like 20 different auctions and, and tied everything up to where the seller could not sell. And, and unless he did pay, maybe they did pay. I, I don't know. But the, the thing is, is at least there's a consequence if you don't. He would have lost $200. And that's, you know, they're trying. They're going to figure things out, what's ever working, what's not working. So an oversupply of NFT is going to kill the golden goose. I, a couple of videos ago, I talked about the NFT bubble. OK, common sense, a as you know, I know we're in VV world and and I check in a Terra Virtue every now and then. But the NFTs are just everywhere right now. You can't keep up with it. I I'm trying. And it's hard. I mean, unless you do this full time, they're just popping up. You, you need time to research it. 
you go to the this site you you don't know if it's legit it's one of one of 10 and you know if you buy it you're going to have one of 10 but it might not be worth crap license you don't know so anyway here's the point i want to make about this all right and this is what happened on yesterday's video when i talked about my baseball card store when when everything back in the 90s was was going ape shit but even as this was happening card companies were cashing in on the frenzy by printing huge number of cards that's what's happening with nfts everybody's printing it but there's a difference i'm gonna tell you why in a second according to one estimate by the early 90s they were printing more than 80 billion cards a year that's why my store went out of business with annual revenues reaching a billion dollars at first then it doesn't have much of an impact it took about six months trust me i know but eventually people realized that the expensive rookie card they had spent good money on the shaquille o'neal beam team card and placed under plastic wasn't ever going to become the next 1952 Mickey Mantle or, or Jordan card because there were literally tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands. Nobody still knows how many Shaquille O'Neal Beam Team cards there are. I imagine it's uncountable. Uh, whole forest disappeared when they were making because they kept printing. Once they realized how hot that was, and anybody back from then knows exactly what I'm talking about. But here's the difference between what happened then. And what's happening now they're right 95 percent of nfts are are shit or not worth anything or going to be only worth something to a few people the thousands of things that can go wrong but here's the difference even on the the nfts that nobody knows about and you have to research it they're verifiable on how many they are made if you've ever gone to buy a lego set it says limited edition the first thing I want to know is how many limited edition? A million? 500,000? How do you know Lego doesn't have a warehouse in Sweden that's just overflowing with this type of set? Okay? With NFTs, that's, that's gone because they can't lie to you anymore. They can't not tell you because you see it. When Vivi drops Marvel, they tell you there's 30,000 of them. That's it. They each got their own number, just like a crypto coin. That's why I call NFT super rare crypto, because they are. They're rarer than Bitcoin. What makes things valuable? The rareness of it. But they can't, they can't fudge the numbers anymore. Okay? And that's the difference. So, yeah, at the end of the day, this is a bubble. There's a lot of people going to be holding NFTs that are, are worthless or they just can't get their money back. Nobody will want whatever the thousands of reasons. But all I'm dealing with is comic books, licensed comic books. So I think I'm going to be in a good position as a lot of us are who are doing that. Now, the collectibles, same way. If you're in the collectibles, if you're in the collectibles and they're licensed and they're, they're serial numbered, they're minted numbered, you're, you're good because that group that, you know, that, that has that fan base is going to trust that item. Okay, you're not some guy in an alley trying to say, hey, come here, buy this. It's it's only 10 of them. No, they can all everybody. It's open to the public. It's on the ledger. Now, I don't know about if you can fake NFTs. Uh, I'm sure somebody somewhere's going to figure it out. But that's where the platform comes in. How are they going to keep these secure and keep it from uh, counterfeit products being made? It should be rather easy being, you know, being that it's on the ledger. So th that's their side, not my side. But anyway, that's what I feel about that. Now, let's check this out. Now, this is an old article, too. This is back in May 20th. Bitcoin and Ethereum are dead and their honest investors know it. Okay. All right. Let's go over the six things that he drops on us here. One, it's old. It's already old technology. Yeah. I don't, I, I see what he's trying to say there. And uh, no, I, that's, that to me, I, I, I know what he's trying to say, but um, is some, is there something that's already been made better than Bitcoin? No. And here's the thing, China is making their own coin. I'm not clear if it has to run off Bitcoin to work, but most of the world is going to accept Bitcoin. They just are. And so 
it's going to be if you want to participate on the world level, you're going to have to pick some common platform that everybody operates off of. And I imagine that's already Bitcoin. I, I, I don't know enough about it, but so I don't buy that. Let's go to number two. People are realizing crypto isn't a hedge against inflation. Uh, yeah, it can be. It's called burning. And they're already proven that. It's deflationary. They haven't perfected it yet, but Ecomi, uh, Vivi, OMI is deflationary. When you burn, when you start burning it and the supply comes less and less, it's not like cash that they're over there in the printer right now as we speak, printing more cash every day. It's expensive. Yeah, but you can, you know what? You can buy a millionth down to what? 14, 18 decimal points on Bitcoin? You can't do that with a dollar. The smallest we got is a penny. So anybody with a nickel in their pocket can buy a, 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 a buy into Bitcoin, being that the uh, the gas prices are low. The bigs will do what they always do. That's true. It don't matter where you're at. They, you know, look. You can. I, I love that when people go, "Oh, Bitcoin's going to be used to do so much evil." Everything that has value is used for evil at one time or another. And it, that's just, I mean, that's such a, a statement of where like only Bitcoin's going to have that problem when the, it's at least Bitcoin is more traceable. You know, there, I mean, there's going to be more uh, accountability uh, when it comes down to it once they get the regulation. It's horrible for the environment. The, again, partial truth. You can name a million other things are even worse than Bitcoin on the on the market. I, I know they try to make a big deal about that, but there's a million other things that are worse than Bitcoin. And it's getting better. They they are aware of it. So that that's I'm not worried about that. Governments will increase regulation and taxation. You bet your ass they will, as soon as they can figure it out. Because there there's some there's some politicians involved in in crypto and that's what's going to save our ass from these who don't and are going to try to just regulate the hell out of it. So, but yeah, that's, that's guaranteed. Uh, all coins will continue to eat the market share. Yeah. Yeah. Probably it depends. It depends on who's working and who's not uh, that, you know, the Ethereum thing, Solano, Cardano, Tezos, uh, who's, which is there enough for everybody? Which one's going to work better? Uh, at what point do people start jumping ship to go to another one? Okay. Now here's my favorite. More countries will ban Bitcoin and Ethereum. Everybody's like, oh my God, China banned Bitcoin. So, and they're going to make their own Bitcoin or own crypto and blah, blah. Let me, let me point one thing out to you. China banned Bitcoin for its people. Those fat commie tyrant rulers, I guarantee you in some bank in Switzerland, have tons of Bitcoin for themselves. They didn't outlaw it for themselves. They've got the power to keep it from everybody else in their country. That's the difference between their system and our system. End of story. And what else? That That's, oh, yeah, evolution of central bank. Now, this is an interesting map. Nobody has, well, let me see if I'm reading that right. That color right there, I don't see anywhere on the map. So nobody has launched a central bank digital currencies. China seems to be ahead and, and uh, that's, what is that, Sweden and Turkey, I think. And I don't know what that is right there, but um, and South Korea. So they seem to be ahead. We're, we seem to be in a uh, research stage behind Canada even that's in development. So I don't know what that means, the central bank digital currencies, but look who's all involved, okay? I'm shocked Russia's not even on this map for some reason, but yeah, it's here to stay. It's here to stay. Okay, let's go over my things real quick, and then I'm done. Uh, you know, when you're looking at this, it, it, you can figure this out is if you're buying and selling, you want to you wanna get out of and all these are winners. So this really doesn't apply yet, but there's, there's eventually going to be a thousand comics on here, but you want to get out of the lesser valuable ones in up 
towards the number one. Now, my list could be wrong. This is what I think it is. But, you know, it, it, now this Marvels, this might be the sleeper. I, I keep saying it's the first appearance of Captain America in an NFT comic book. I don't know. I can't get any confirmation. And that's this might be way up here for all we know. But what I'm saying is, say, say you're at the uh, that new mutant should not be there. I that's where I got to go. That something's wrong there. I supposed to put X Men there. No, I got X Men up there. But anyway, here's the point I'm trying to make. You get out of the lesser ones. You work your way to the top. So when you see good deals on Avengers, always if you can grab it, grab it because they're just so rare. I mean, look at the print runs. The closest one to it are the 30,000s. And and so, anyway, that's a, a here's my common collection. Not nothing to brag about right now. All the prices are even down worse than the last three days. If you had some money, it's a good time to buy in and stock up on some commons. But uh, I do have one of each common. I've been able to do that. Uh, the statues, the Captain America statue is down, but went up. Every, all of them went up today. But they're still down from their high of 20, 927. But the Spider-Man went up $1,800 today. It has been, this spider I was starting to wonder about it because it was like never doing anything. I was like, yeah, it must be a dud. And it's just took an off this last week. It, it went up from like 4,000, 11,800. The uh, secret rare is going for like, I think 7,000, 8,000. So, wow. So that's how this is. You know, if you got one of these, just just hold them, man. Hold them, and your day's going to come. Uh, my project, my predictions, the Legos. I've talked about that. Think about a a Lego set that's an NFT that you can take apart and put back together. That's what you can do with an NFT. Red Sonya will join the MCU. She's a Marvel. She's a Marvel original. Back in the seventies, her and Conan tearing it up. Now she's with Dynamite, but you don't think Marvel. Or Disney will come over and say, hey, can we borrow her? Make a movie with Conan? Make another billion dollars? You know, Conan might be played by The Rock. Who knows? More valuable than Bitcoin already happened. I, I That was an easy one. A Comey might regret moving to Ethereum. You never know. You never know. They might. Just we'll find out. That's going to be up to Ethereum. Uh, this is a new one. And and, and be, everybody's been watching all these talks from Wu and all these other guys at, at Vivi. And here's the only thing that I got to comment upon that kind of bothers me. I don't see a sign of urgency. And you're like, well, they're doing it right. They're, that's great. I'm glad they're doing it right. And I, I want them to do it right. But here's what bothers me with the urgency thing. If you take too long to get to the party, the party's going to be over. Simple as I can put it. At what time do licenses... Remember, Vivi's only putting out three NFTs a week right now. This was the now probably going to get a lot busier once they get over on the, the Ethereum. But there's a lot of licenses because we've only seen 20% of all of Vivi's licenses that is waiting in line to get out there to this frenzy feeding of cash right now on all these NFTs. And I at one I just start to wonder what point are these licenses going. What the hell? How long do we got to wait? It might take them a year or two to get out there. And and that's a problem that I see with Vivi maybe. It's that I'm not saying they're not doing it right, but that sense of urgency, that that party can end. Uh, I don't know. That's just a thought of mine. I just, I, I wonder what these people with the licenses that we have. DC Comics. Now, they were the first collectible dropped by Vivi. So they got that distinction. Maybe that's what they worked out. And now Marvel's tearing it up with the comics, but you know, they're waiting in line with their comics. When are they coming? I mean, I, I, all that money is going to VAR. Will anybody have left money left to buy DC comics? You know, I, I'm just saying that's what maybe the licenses people are thinking about that Marvel cap first appearance. I'm going to call it that because nobody can tell me otherwise. And Remember, this is entertainment purposes only. No financial advice. Listen to me at your own risk. But it's only $1,700, secret rare. That's the Marvels, okay? The secret rare. And that whole set, I think, is undervalued, if if that is for sure the first appearance of Captain America and all that. The ways to collect. Uh, Kill JXRP, uh, he showed us another way today. He's collecting the last mint number in every set. 
Um, and then the title, Mint Run, Mint Number, Total Collection, Common Collection, Cover Art, Series 1, First App. And that's it. I've talked too much. I'm going to go. Uh, thank you all for watching and have a lovely day.